Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Al YouTube channel and it's the end of the month which means it is time for the monthly show us your sheet load slash happy mail video. I hope you'll stick around and see what wonderful creations came in my P.O. box this month. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. At the end of each month, I like to stop by and share with you what I have received in my P.O. box for the month. This used to be a strictly show us your sheet load feature where people would send in cards using various editions of sheet load. Well, some people also send me cards just because, so now it's more of a show us your sheet load slash happy mail video. I was surprised each time I stopped by the post office this month with having lots of envelopes in my box. I cannot wait to open each of these envelopes and packages today to see your wonderful creations. Now if you ever want to show us your sheet load and send in a card for the end of the month video, my P.O. box is at the bottom of the description box below and I will also have the show us your sheet load guidelines video. You can share a video here on YouTube, a post over on Instagram, or send in a card for this video. Now don't forget tomorrow, I'll be back with the brand new sheet load of cards, January 2022, and I cannot wait to share this sketch with you and tell you how it was extra special. Let's go ahead and see what came in my P.O. box this month. First up is a couple cards from my friend Teresa R. from Florida. You might know her as Fresh and Renewed with Teresa here on YouTube. She actually sent me the lovely Christmas card on the right. And then earlier in the month, she sent me that fun penguin card along with a super spectacular surprise. She sent me this pink and main kit, which was all rainbow themed. I think by now you probably know I love rainbows and this just blew me away. Thank you so much, Teresa. Yvonne K from Wisconsin sent in two cards this month. On the right was a beautiful December 2021 sheet load example, and on the left was a gorgeous Christmas card. I love the gold metallic foil on those snowflakes and on the pattern paper. Thank you. Cheryl S. of Utah sent in two cards as well. On the left is a January 2021 example, and on the right is December 2021. So she kind of started and ended the year in her envelopes this month. And then in the middle, she sent me some extra little goodies, and these are printed clear pieces from Recollections. I cannot wait to use these on a winner card. Thank you, Cheryl. Jessica N. of Florida also surprised me with two envelopes this month. In the first one on the left were the two beautiful examples using the November 2019 sheet load of cards. I love the blues and purples, and it didn't really get caught in the photo, but there's lots of beautiful silver metallic accents. And then on the right, she sent me this beautiful Christmas card. Thank you! Beth from Indiana, who you might know as Bourbon Creek Crafts here on YouTube, sent me a lovely Christmas card and these fun little animal vinyl stickers. Thank you so much, Beth. Lori K. from Minnesota sent me this beautiful Christmas card that uses the December 2021 sheet load. I love the blue and gold together and those tiny little coordinating gems. Thank you. Terry S. from Minnesota, who is one of the fun ladies I got to meet at Stamp Joy this year, sent me this adorable Christmas card, as well as some goodies that I can use on future cards. Thank you, Terry. 
Carmen B. of Colorado sent me this beautiful example using December 2021. I love kind of the peaches and greens on the pattern paper. At the time of voicing over this video, there are bad winds and fires raging in Colorado. I did look at the return address completely and her city is one that is being affected. I've emailed to reach out. I really hope I hear back good news. I'm thinking about you, Carmen. Now on a side note, in her envelope, she let me know that she made a video of how she made these cards and included a fun QR code. So I'm gonna pop that up on screen now. And if you would like to take a look at that and go watch her video, I know that she would appreciate it. I hope you're okay, Carmen, and thank you for the card. Rachel S. of Canada sent me this gorgeous holiday card. The picture definitely does not do it justice. The white snowflake cover plate is kind of shimmery and the background paper, that blue ombre, is glittery. So gorgeous. Thank you, Rachel. I would like to take this time to send a special thank you to all of my Call Me Crafty Owl channel members. Your monthly support help me keep creating and sharing here on YouTube and keep Sheetload of Cards free for all of my subscribers. If you're ever interested in learning more about the perks of channel membership, I do have a link in the description box below. Pamela B. of North Carolina sent me this adorable Christmas card. I love the brick embossed background and those fun pearls on the stocking. Thank you! Valerie N. of Oregon sent me this gorgeous Christmas card. I love the tree paper in the background and those fun die cut trees. Thank you, Valerie. Jessica N. of Virginia, who you might know her over on Instagram as Jessie Kate Creates, she is one of my collaboration team members, has sent me in this fabulous winter card. I'm loving those papers her focal point, and whatever that glittery, sparkly stuff she has between the two torn pieces. I think it might be some kind of ribbon, but I am in love. Thank you, Jessica. Christina M. of Illinois sent in three cards this month. On the right is one using the December 2021 sheet load, and on the left are a couple earlier editions that she used some scraps on. Those are definitely great sketches to help you get started on those scraps. Thank you so much, Christina. Kira of Texas is another one of the ladies from the fall stamp joy that I attended and part of the mailing list that Joyce put together. It was so fun to receive this wonderful holiday card using some tailored expressions goodies. Thank you, Kira. Sandy B. of the UK sent me this beautiful Christmas card. Sandy is also one of my Sheetload collaboration team members, and starting in January, she will be sharing her creations over on Instagram. Thank you for the card, Sandy. L. Wilson of Missouri sent me this adorable Nomi Christmas card using one of the Sheetload of Cards mini slimline editions. This is so adorable. Thank you very much. Heather H. of New York sent me this gorgeous Christmas card using November 2021. I love the papers and that fun die cut wreath behind the sentiment. Thank you, Heather. Vanessa Z. of Oregon is also part of the Tailored Expressions hug -a mail list, and she sent me this beautiful Christmas card. Unfortunately, the picture turned out blurry, and I think it's because of all the sparkle and shine on the card. Thank you so much for this beautiful card. Nikki of California, who you might know as Lil Crafty Nook here on YouTube, sent me this holiday card that uses the November 2019 sheet load. Thank you so much, Nikki. Renee P. of Tennessee sent me this beautiful holiday card. I love the sparkle and that large sentiment. Thank you so much, Renee. 
Susan of Oklahoma sent me this beautiful card. I really like the white on blue scenery and how she has used a large sequin for the O oh and Joy on the sentiment. Thank you, Susan. Lorraine J of Pennsylvania sent me a holiday card. I am loving, of course, the use of pattern paper. You know that's my favorite. Thank you for thinking of me during the holidays, Lorraine. Iona Sue S. of Washington used the December 2021 layout for this beautiful birthday card. Loving the peach and black together. Thank you for sending it in, Iona. This cool holiday card came from Suzanne N. of Florida. I am loving that little penguin focal point and the papers. She has used the December 2021 sheet load for the layout. Thank you, Suzanne. Jill B. from Maryland sent me this cute holiday card and that little tab over on the right is actually a fun interactive element that when you pull it, it reveals the message inside. Thank you so much, Jill. Kim W. of Kentucky sent me this adorable holiday card. I love the fun colors and those two cute little bears. Thank you, Kim. Monica C. from Arizona used October 2021 for this beautiful thank you card with a nice note inside. Thank you so much, Monica. Carol of Indiana sent me this beautiful Christmas card using the December 2021 layout. She also let me know that she used some scraps from this to create four mini slimline cards. Thank you for your beautiful card, Carol. Lisa S. from California, who is also known as at Scrapbook Girl over on Instagram and one of my sheet load collaborators, sent me in this adorable holiday card. She always uses the funnest colors and images. If you don't follow her already, I hope that you'll go over there and do that. Terry C. of Ohio used the December 2021 sheet load to make this holiday card. I am really loving the pattern papers and the red and gray color combo. Thank you, Terry. Betty H. of Oregon used the November 2021 layout for this Christmas card. Loving again the color combos and that shiny red wreath behind the sentiment. Thank you, Betty. The next card came from Sherry P. of Missouri, and she sent me this pretty Christmas card. I love the red and blue and that fun sentiment. Thank you, Sherry. Ina E. of Canada sent me a beautiful Christmas card that uses December 2021. I am in love with that glittery blue die cut star focal point. Thank you, Ina. Diane A. of California sent me this beautiful Christmas card. I love kind of that vintage green and white paper in the background. Thank you so much for thinking of me. Sharon M. of Indiana used the December 2021 for her monochromatic sample. Loving the papers and how she has decorated the envelope. Thank you. Next up was a package from my friend Karen C. of Virginia. Not only did she send in a sample of every December sheet load of cards, she also sent me a little Christmas present. All tied up in that pretty little bow was a Christmas card for me and a couple little gifts that she has sent a note about why she sent me each one. And Karen is always so attentive, watching my videos, always remembering things I love or use. In the middle, because last month I think it was, I used a piece of paper that looked like it was an embossed sweater pattern. Well, Karen found an embossing folder with that pattern and sent me one. I plan on getting a lot of use out of this folder in the coming months. Over on the right was something I have never seen before, but Karen has noticed how I love a good poinsettia paper, and she sent me this little embossing folder that it embosses and die cuts a poinsettia. It is so sweet and I cannot wait to use it. Thank you so much, Karen. 
Up next is a package from Alana C. of Florida. She sent me a beautiful Christmas tree ornament, and since it was see-through, I did put a piece of white behind it so you could also see it. And she sent me a beautiful Christmas card. The gold metallic shine on it is just so beautiful, and unfortunately, the picture doesn't do it justice. Thank you so much, Alana. Trish D, who is one half of my crafty Irish friend duo, sent in seven cards this month. In the upper left is a sheet load card, but it just had a nice little note inside of it for me. On the upper right are three examples using December 2019, and at the bottom, she has used December 2021 for another three. Thank you so much, Trish, they're beautiful. And speaking of my crafty Irish friend duo, the final package for today, it was sent in by Rita, but the card was signed by Rita and Trish. They sent me not only this beautiful Christmas card, but they sent me some Irish goodies. Inside the box was a reusable bag with some views of Ireland. I do love to use these when I go to the post office or I have a lot of stuff to carry from the house or bring home. This will come in very handy. Below that were five Christmas ornaments with an Irish theme. These are beautiful and will definitely be treasured. At the time of this voiceover, I had already put some of them on my Christmas tree. Thank you so much, ladies, for always sending in cards and little gifts. I always love to see your return addresses when I stop by the post office. I know I say it every month, but this is definitely one of my favorite videos to make. Once again, I was blown away by your talent and your generosity. Thank you so much for the Christmas cards, the sheet load examples, the just because cards, and the little gifts. It is so appreciated, and I love when I go to my P.O. box and there's an envelope in there for me. With all of these new ornaments, I did just tell my family I might have to have a Christmas tree in my craft room next year. Until my next video, which is the new sheet load of cards, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. Now I hope that you'll consider clicking on one of the playlists or videos I have linked above.